Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sketching Jungkook and talking you guys through my process as I go. So this was quite a requested video, so I thought I would draw him for you guys. Um, and yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, I started out by just sketching like a bit of an oval shape just for a bit of a guideline so I could see where the sketch was going to be and how big it was going to be also. And then I drew in just a little guideline for where the eyes are going to sit and then I just went straight into it. Um, this is actually <laughs> the, I've been trying to film this tutorial for about three nights. So this is the third Jungkook sketch I've actually done. I just wasn't happy with the other ones. So yeah, <laughs> anyway. This one turned out good-ish, I think. So anyway, um, I'm just sort of going all over the place, drawing in uh, his hair there and just working my way down the face, starting with the eyes, then the nose and then the mouth. I wasn't really concerned at this point about getting everything perfect, but I just wanted to get something in there and start to get a sense of what the sketch is going to look like. And if I was going to be happy with it because I was so, I was um, a bit stressed out because of the other two sketches not really going how I planned. So I was really hoping this one was going to be okay. And I've been struggling a bit with the nose lately. So I did actually struggle with this one like a little bit. But as you can see, I just went and erased the eyes because I wasn't really happy with their placement. Um, so yeah, I do have to go back in a couple times like on the on all of the features and sort of uh, redraw them because it just wasn't coming super easily, this sketch. But that's all good. Uh, so with Jungkook, I wanted, I wanted to sketch a picture of him that was sort of like front on where you can see all of his features and he's not like pulling any certain expression because I wanted you guys to be able to sort of like follow this along and if you have been struggling drawing him I wanted this to like hopefully help you guys so he is actually one of the more difficult members for me to draw he I struggle quite a lot with his mouth for some reason I'm not sure but um yeah I don't know so I was just gonna run through like a couple of his features and what like stands out to me and how I sketch them. So for his eyes, they're quite like open and bright and like round, I guess all eyes are round, but I don't know, they're quite, um, and they're quite like the top eyelid is quite like symmetrically round, if that makes sense. I would say out of everything, probably his eyes are the like less determining feature. I think his, nose and his mouth if you get those down they'll sort of um they'll like determine the likeness of your sketch the most so for his nose it's got quite like a unique shape to it so just make sure you really um study the reference image if you're using a reference image and really just try to match that shape because that will really help the likeness come through. And then for his lips, oh, they're so difficult for me, but they're sort of, he's got this little like unevenness to them that you'll, if you study a couple reference pictures of him, you'll sort of pick it up. Um, so I always try to concentrate on that and try to reflect that in my sketch. But I just sort of, with his mouth, I just keep going back and forwards just between my sketch and the reference, trying to like troubleshoot. If it's not looking like his mouth, um, I sort of ask myself, like looking between the sketch and the reference image and I'll just ask myself like, what is not the same? It's kind of like playing spot the difference. <laughs> like what is missing here that is not making it really look like him? And I just sort of ask myself that and go to my reference and then go to my sketch and sketch a little bit and then erase and um, yeah it, it takes a little bit of time but I think I got there in the end with this one anyway I hope those little tips were helpful I don't know if they were but 
So I go in now and I start sketching in his neck a little bit and I'll also sketch in his shoulders and I'm just adding a little bit of shading uh, like I always do under the chin area. I think that um, always looks pretty good so I like adding that in and yeah just sort of going around everywhere making touch-ups and yeah I was pretty happy with it at this point. Um, also I have run out of refills for my 0.2 millimeter so <laughs> it's been really it it's actually such a difference not having my Pentella Renz. I've been kind of struggling with my sketches lately because the 0.3 is just like too thick for the small details so I did get a little frustrated and then I eventually I had some uh, B lead I think I usually use HB but is it B I've got it here oh 2B sorry I've got I've got some 2B 0.2 millimeter so I put that in my Pantella Renz you'll see that later and yeah I use that instead and the 2B is kind of hard to work with it's really like buttery and soft and it comes out really dark so I did my best but I really just needed that thin line um, later on in the sketch like for going over the details and adding a bit of shading um, but I did my best with my 0.3 as well so I didn't uh, decide to sort of go in heavy like on the hair with the shading this time sometimes I just like to keep it um, like with lines like how I am doing now and sometimes I like to go in with a really heavy hand and just sort of shade it all but I decided to keep this sketch a little more simple I guess I also have a rough time sometimes uh, deciding whether I want to shade the eyes like the iris I don't know I think it looks kind of cool like left like this when they're blank but then some I don't know I usually end up just shading them but it's completely up to you guys what you want to do and you don't have to throughout like your art style it doesn't have to be consistently one way or the other like if I one day don't feel like shading a certain part like I just won't or if the next day like I want to shade it really heavily I'll just do it that way I don't know it's cool to sort of switch it up and uh, see what you like. So now I've uh, switched over to the 2B lead into my Pantella Renz because I just could not put up with the 0.3 anymore. <laughs> and this was actually really helpful. Just going in and adding a little bit more details into the hair. And the 2B actually came in handy here, like getting those really dark lines. I think I actually might, maybe I should buy another Pantella Renz and keep 2B in there. It's really nice for like going around the outside for like the, the dark outline. You really don't have to press hard with the 2B to get a dark line. But anyway, I'm sort of nearing the end of the sketch now. I'm just doing all my final touch-ups. So I'm sort of going over all of my features and just checking that I'm happy with the way they are and adding a little bit of shading between the eyes and the eyebrows. And there I go shading in the iris there and I wasn't really happy with the shape of this eye so I went in with my kneadable eraser and just touched it up a little bit and then added some highlights as well with my white gel pen and once I add the highlights with my white gel pen I often go in with my 0.2 millimeter and I like go if I make the highlight too big because I really like the highlights on my eyes to be like really tiny so if they're a bit too big, I go in with my 0.2 and I like go around the highlight and sort of like color it to make it smaller, if that makes sense. Like um, sort of erase some of it with my pencil. And then just adding some little wispy bits of hair over the eyes. And then going into the mouth, adding a bit more shading. I actually, I think I overshaded the neck. I did, after I was done with this video, I went in with my kneadable eraser and sort of like erased some of that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's okay. And yeah, uh, this is pretty much um, the finished sketch. I'm quite happy with it. 
I'll definitely draw him again for you guys. I really would like to do like a full body sketch. Sort of like, if you're familiar with my Instagram, like when I draw the airport fashion, I'd like to make a video on that for you guys. And I also need to make a tutorial on mouths. That will be coming soon as well. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I really hope it was helpful and it sort of helps you in your own sketches. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.